All right, everybody. Tokyo Revengers Season 2 Episode 1 has officially started on December 7th on a Saturday. At a Saturday, man. The episode came out a couple hours ago, but I'm watching it tonight. And let's see. Let's see where the story goes. Let's see. Let's see how. Because from what I hear, people say in the manga, a top tier arc in Tokyo, right? It's like legendary. It's called the Christmas Showdown, I believe. And, um, yeah, let's see what they, let's see what, what they got in store for us, man. Let's get into it. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> we know who this is, man. Baji. Baji. Opening two? Nope. No. Ah. I'm a jet. I forgot. The Baji died. Kazutora. Okay, okay. This boy getting beat. This boy still got zero hands, man. So I'm assuming. It's been a while since I've seen Tokyo, man. I'm assuming this is. Hinata, yeah, Hinata's brother, I believe. I believe. Damn, I would drag it. Alright, so this is the big question right here, man. What happened to Mikey? It's obviously the last season where we left off the last episode. When we went back to the, back to the future slash pre the present, basically. We got... We got something involving Mikey. Like, no one knows where Mikey is. Like, he has disappeared. He is not on the radar. He's nowhere to be seen, basically. And obviously, I, I like how we're still continuing with that theme. Where is Mikey? Is Mikey dead? Has he turned evil? What's happened? He's got kidnapped. Well, I don't know. Season, season one was golly, Tokyo Rangers. Like, this shit. Let's see if we can do the same thing, man. Mitsuya. So everybody's going missing, man. Alright, so Mikey, they answered the question right here. Mikey's been gone for a month. He went to go look for Hitsuya, which I believe is the dude with the gray hair. Yeah, I believe it's the dude with the gray hair. So, it, hey, we get something now. Mikey has only been gone for a month. So something, someone, something happened, man. And I can't wait to see what happened. Dang. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, man. This means Mikey has started purging the old Tome members. I don't know, man. How, how can he just come up with that idea man, with that conclusion I don't I don't buy it but so far it's, it's starting interesting man. so the OG toe man it's going to shit something's happening so I bl yeah the the old Tokyo gang is falling apart okay so we know we know, we know Mikey is still in charge, and Kisaki is just doing what Mikey is telling him to do. So Mikey is still, he's running, he's running as a Hokage in the shadows, basically. He's not seen, really. He's just giving orders at that point. Naoto. This boy look like Levi, I just know this is shit, man. Damn. That boy set his ass. Takamichi. 
Okay, so obviously, obviously, Naoto still remembers what we saw in season one where they both know when that Takamichi can travel back to time and then travel back to present. But every time Takamichi travels back to the present, something in the timeline goes goes wrong or something has changed in the timeline. So Naoto obviously still knows that shit. He still knows. Let's see what then. Let's see what happens. She still dies. Damn. It is like going crazy. Sorry, bro. Why is the art worse than the season one, man? This does not make sense. Like, season two came, it should come back strong. Like, come back with the bang. And the art looks worse than, it, than in season one. Alright, so right there, like they said, Kisaki's has some sort of obsession with Takamichi and Hina. What if it's like they said, there is no coincidence. This happened every time he's went back to the past and tried to fix shit. What if someone or Kisaki himself is is actually like a can actually go back to the past as well? What if someone needs Hina to die? Because obviously, when Hina dies, everything goes as planned. So what if at the end of the story of Tokyo, the if the story does end like this, where Takemichi does save the day. It has to be with Hina surviving somehow. What if he doesn't win without saving Hina? What if... What if... What if... For someone... For the per, for the bad person to win, Hina has to always die. So someone is a time traveler. Or I don't know what the fuck is going on. Yeah. I hope y'all get what I'm saying though, like, in order for someone to win, Hina always has to die. So by conclusion, in order, if Hina lives, would Takemichi, like, win? Like, I don't know what's happening. Like, is there another time, another dude that could time travel and kill and fuck up Takemichi's shit, like, each time? Who knows, man? Back to the best time for Eva. Back to Hina. In order for Takemichi and the good guys to win, does Hina have to, to survive in the main storyline? So in order of, so when Hina dies, something is going as planned. So in order for the thing to, for whoever it is to not go and like as planned, does Hina have to survive? I hope y'all get what I'm saying. Like, I hope y'all get what I'm saying, man. I don't know. Hey, yeah! The X Black. What was the name? Black Dragon? Alright, everybody. So, we actually did find out a lot this fucking episode, man. We found out that the one that saved Takemichi was Castora, I believe. That was his name. I forgot. I'm not gonna lie. That motherfucker. We find out that Mikey's been missing for exactly, not, I don't know exactly, but he's been missing for a month. He went to go look for Hitsuya, which was a dude with the uh, gray hair. So that's when Mikey went missing. We find out, what is what we find out? That right here in this timeline, Takemichi actually ordered Akun to go kill Hina. We find out so much shit, bro. So much shit. The old Tome game is getting like murdered, and because sort of things that it might be Mikey doing it himself, not like, ordering people to kill him. Shit's falling down, man. It's falling. But guys, that's it for this week's episode, and I'll see y'all next week, man. Take care.